From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, everyone, I am Mark J. Weather. It's going to be a cold overnight tonight, 16 degrees for the low. Sunshine, though, tomorrow should help boost our temps up to close to average. Lower and middle 30s will do it, so it's going to be a little bit warmer for you. Akron and Canton, bring it on in. A low near 9. Drying out, but temps are going to plummet. 36 tomorrow, near normal. Okay, Saturday even warmer. Let's do 47. Sunday, 53 degrees. Welcome spring, but hold on. As we end March or end February and get ready for March, the temps go back down and we get snow by late next week. Danita. Thank you, Mark. Here's a look at today's top stories. This happened again. A child hit by a car passing a school bus. Police say the third grader was getting off the bus at West 73rd in Dearborn in Cleveland when a car going the same direction as the bus went around it and hit her, then drove off. The little girl was taken to the hospital. It's unclear how badly she was hurt. The Ashland County Humane Society and Dog Warden rescued 46 dogs from a home. There is actually no city ordinance in Ashland limiting the number of dogs that can be in a home. But the rescuers tell our partners at the Times-Gazette that the house was in bad shape and the dogs needed to be taken out. They're hoping city leaders consider a limit in the future. And we've learned the city of Cleveland offers Sherwin-Williams three major incentives to build their world headquarters downtown. A 30-year break on property taxes, a $13.5 million construction grant to support building the new facility, and a job creation grant equal to half of the new income tax generated by new jobs at Sherwin-Williams. City Council has to sign off on the incentives before the deal is final. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or just open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.